Oh, Caitlin Clark, you know. I mean, the Indiana Fever. Hit the like button. Share this video. I think I might have missed a few games. You know, they uh, the Indiana Fever, they played the Las Vegas Aces. And like I told you, that was going to be a beatdown, and it was. As I told you, I believe I said, like, um, Aja Wilson's going to probably have, like, 26 points and 14 rebounds. I think she had something like that. But um, let me see here. But I was right on that, and I won money on that one. The Indiana Fever are nine games into the season. They are 1-8. They are 0-4 at home. But they're doing big business. And this is to be expected, as I said. Now, tonight's game versus the Seattle Storm, this is the second time they're facing the Storm. Um, before the game started, or when I looked at this game, I thought on the on the betting side of things, I, I would take Indiana plus six and a half. But then I checked the injury report, and um, that was a red flag. Now, I don't think you can say this broad's name on YouTube without getting flagged, but let's just say Timmy Benny, the center, she was out. And she's out two to, two to three weeks, and then Erica Wheeler's out. When they were out, that's a red flag. Now, Seattle should be the favorite to win this game, and they obviously won this game. They beat down the fever. But when I saw Wheeler out and F. Benny out, I knew this was a disaster in the making, so I did not bet on this game. I didn't bet on Seattle because you never know, but um, they lost this game. The Fever lost this game. They didn't lose this game because of poor shooting, even though there was poor shooting. They shot horribly. You know, they shot 41% from the field, which is terrible. From the three-pointer, they shot 40%, which is good. But, um, you know, free throw line, they were 90%. But from the field, you cannot shoot 41% as a team. When you look at the rebounding battle... They had 36 rebounds. The Storm had 32. They won the rebounding battle. They lost the assist battle 29-21. They had 13 turnovers. Seattle had 7. They lost this game because of poor team shooting. Clark was 6 of 17. Mitchell was 5 of 16. Um, Caitlin Clark, another game with too many turnovers. She had 7. But... They didn't lose this game just from poor shooting and, and, and Kate, it wasn't, you know, whatever. Caitlin Clark, whatever. They lost this game because they're already a bad team and now they're very short-handed. F. Benny was a solid, you know, player in the middle to rebound and get her assorted points. And Wheeler is like an energy role player. So without those two, they're already not most likely going to win this game. Uh, it could have been closer. It could have been within seven points. But without those two... A blowout should be expected. And, um, you know, this, this is a, um, they're called the Indiana Fever, and um, they look sick right now. And, uh, you know, maybe, who the hell picked that name? Is, is Indianapolis, is that is, is that known for people having fevers? Like, where did they get that name from? Seattle Storm. Does it storm in Seattle? I know it rains, but does it always storm? Whatever. Um, when you look at the fever here, they are already bad, and when you have F. Benny out for weeks, this is really, really going to hurt. Um, I could see this team in the next two weeks, this team might only get to three wins. By, by, the, by the second week of June, they might only have three wins in the season. They're a bad team who's now, uh, you know, even cut short even more with injury. Now, let me go back to hit the like button, share this video, subscribe to this channel. Now, let me go back to I mean, when, when you look at this season, the first game, Connecticut blown out. They play New York, demolished. They play New York again, lose by 11. Connecticut was very close, lost. Seattle, the first Seattle game, they lost by two. They beat Los Angeles. They look good versus Los Angeles. The Vegas game. I predicted a, 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 a spanking, and it was. But a lot of that Vegas game was very close, which surprised me. I, almost, I was like, am I about to lose my money? What the hell? But then Vegas pulled away like a veteran team does, and it was a whooping. It was a beatdown. They go to Los Angeles. 
or rather their home versus Los Angeles, and they lose. And now tonight, as I record this, they get crushed by Seattle, 103-88. Now the next big game is a big game on ESPN noon, Saturday, June 1st, Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. And it's in it's in Indiana, and I think Angel Reese will have a tremendous game. I think Caitlin Clark will have a good game. I think she'll definitely at the least score 20 points. Um, and that'll be a, a, a lot of um, attention. Angel Reese is the better player at this point. She's the better rookie at this point. And she's the real future of the WNBA. But um, always remember, the, the small hats and the whites, they only want to sexualize black women and feminize the black men. But that's another video on another day. But that'll be a big game. But I think Chicago wins that. Then they have to play the Liberty again. Good Lord, they're going to get crushed again. They play Washington. That could be a close game. They play Connecticut again. So, like I said, when they get to, when you get to around June 13th, June 14th, they might have three wins on the season. They might. Um... It's going to be a long summer for uh, Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever. Good Lord. It's going to be a long summer. <laughs> They're not making the playoffs. Um, it, yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a long summer. Uh But 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 you know, it's to be expected from the Fever. But the business is up. This is like the weird thing about it. They're terrible, but WNBA ratings is up. Their their analytics is up. Ticket sales is up. Concession stands is up. They have the highest their 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 attendance. This is going to be the most attended WNBA season of all time, um, just across the league, and especially Indiana Fever, obviously. So it's like the money is up huge, but the results are horrible, and they're going to get worse because of injury. And not to say what if there's more injury, you know, Caitlin Clark she did you know hurt her ankle a few games ago. Um, but yeah, that that's what it is. Now, when you look at the, let's see the standings here. Right now, the Indiana Fever are one and eight as I record this, and they are fifth in the Eastern Conference or Eastern Eastern Conference Division. Uh, okay, hurry up, ESPN, hurry up. You see here. If you want to donate to the channel, support the channel. If you like this content, you can donate to the Cash App. It's dollar sign X D N online and i don't know why is this not taking me to where i need to be damn it wnba wnba scores right. that's skylar diggins who i always thought was overrated you know she had a um she was i think she was like destroying them in the first half pretty much you know she almost had a double double caitlin clark almost had a double double um but but indiana they it's just literally the, the fever. It just fits them. It, it, that, that name might be a curse. They they might have to change the name. Okay, they changed the Redskins. They changed the Indians. They 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 might need to change this. Now, when you look at the standings right now, as of May thirtieth, this month went by very quickly. Let's see here, the conference standings, and in the East, the Sun, who have whooped them already. Surprisingly, the the Fever are not the worst team in the NBA, WNBA. They are second to worst as of the standings. The worst team is the Washington Mystics. Good Lord. And I said they 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 I said it'll be a close game when they face them, but this <sighs> this is gonna be a rough summer. Right now, dominating dominating the league is Connecticut in the East, the Liberty. Vegas and the Minnesota Lynx, and now the Seattle Storm. They have uh, they're five and three. Um, the Fever. Uh, Caitlin Clark. But you know this is this is a long term road, and uh, I told people to calm down uh, on their man wor or woman worship and calm down on their player hating, because you can't really judge. Clark or the Fever for about two or three more seasons. Three years from now, then you can give a proper judgment on the team, the coach, the franchise. But this is what happens with any bad team. They're not going to turn it around uh, in this year. They're not going to turn. They're not going to turn around next year. 
But in about three seasons, then you can give a proper judgment. But uh, with that said, I'm up out of here. Like, share, comment, subscribe. The fever fall again. Another butt whooping.